I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Wednesday afternoon, well, it continues to be a warm one across east central parts of the state uh, with a number of readings, especially uh, just northeast of uh, Fairbanks up into the lower 80s or so there around Fort Yukon. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we've seen uh, a wave, a little wave, low pressure wave work its way across the southern quarter of the state affecting south central areas with cloud cover, uh, some scattered showers, even a, a few isolated thunderstorms now in the northern Talkeetna Mountains. And uh, otherwise, uh, there are, have been a couple of fires. Fire danger remains elevated quite high uh, in and around Fairbanks up through uh, the Yukon Flats. Uh, there's the Haystack Fire north of Fairbanks that has consumed uh, over 500 acres and another fire, Winter Trail Fire northeast of Fairbanks. So those areas uh, will continue to monitor that and refrain from any type of uh, burning or be exceedingly careful uh, if you're out in those areas and considering that. Otherwise, uh, back uh, across the state here tonight, we'll continue to see showers and that moisture work westward past kind of the southern arm of the Alaska Range into southwest Alaska, uh, including the lower uh, Kuskokwim and uh, Yukon River uh, valleys. And as that happens, there could also be uh, tomorrow uh, with the daytime heating, some isolated thunderstorms uh, develop with that uh, moisture that will be in place over the southwest part of the state, as well as some isolated thunder extending back up uh, again through east central areas. Otherwise, uh, low pressure uh, remains uh, southwest of the Gulf of Alaska and the North Pacific and another one south of the central and eastern Aleutians. And with a just extensive uh, marine layer with some areas of light fog and patchy light rain or sprinkles. Uh, but along the uh, Arctic coast, even heading into the next couple of days, could be some areas of fog, as well as along parts of the western coast, particularly around the Bering and off of the Bering Strait. But otherwise, look for still some scattered showers back across southwest areas up through the Yukon Valley, all the way into east central areas, with an isolated thunderstorm possible as well. Temperatures will be fairly seasonable for this time of year. Extended forecast is looking for above normal precipitation uh, setting up over southwest and south central Alaska by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. I'm Peter Chan with Alaska Statewide Weather.